in this video, we'll be discussing about the fatty acid synthesis in plastids. We know the basic metabolism of glucose metabolism, where glucose is transformed into a series of reactions into pyruvate through a process called glycolysis. Then this pyruvate leads into TCA cycle via PDH enzyme. And in this cycle, we get the citrate, which is finally converted into oxaloacetate and acetyl COA. We see this acetyl COA is first transported to plastids, and from this acetyl COA, we get the histone acetylation and our fatty acid synthesis. Now let's see this process in detail. Here we see this acetyl COA in plastids is acted upon by acetyl COA carboxylase enzyme, where there is incorporation of carbon dioxide and this reaction uses ATP. Then from this reaction we get the melonyl COA. In the next step, the MCAMT enzyme acts on melonyl COA and converts it into melonyl ACP. We see the ACP is incorporated into melonyl with the MCAMT enzyme, with which melonyl group is transferred to acyl carrier protein and we get the melonyl ACP. Now in this diagram, we can see the acetyl COA combines with melonyl ACP by the action of condensing enzyme that is 3 ketoacyl ACP synthase to form as the acetoacyl ACP. Then we see we have series of reactions where the keto group at carbon 3 is removed by the action of 3 enzymes to form as a new acyl chain that is butyryl ACP. This butyryl ACP is 4 carbon long chain fatty acid. From this butyryl ACP, we can get the free fatty acid and ACP. But this can also continue to form as the long chain fatty acids. We see here this butyryl ACP combines with melonyl ACP in presence of condensing enzyme to get us the 16 to 18 long chain fatty acids. These reactions continue to form as the long chain fatty acids. So this is how we get the fatty acid synthesis in plastids. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do you can support me on YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.